Hi everyone, welcome to this new course on how to tap into the unlimited power of Facebook group. So in this video course, you're going to learn how to use the power of Facebook group and why traffic is a number game on Facebook and where to get high traffic Facebook group to join. So you, if you understand that there's thousands and thousands of Facebook group out there, so I'm going to show you a way to join just those high traffic Facebook group and how to generate a report for any Facebook group meaning to get the statistic for any Facebook group so if you realize right now Facebook do not provide you with any statistics to any of the groups or even if you own the group so what is the way to find out and why do you want to find out hi everyone welcome back to the video so today you are going to learn why you need to join those Facebook group with high traffic activity Facebook group that with a lot of interaction with the group members so you're going to learn how to apply the 80-20 rules um, just to join the top 20 as you know that even if you join a thousand group only the 20% of the group will give you the traffic that you want and I will give you a list of 1000 group with, that's with a lot of uh, members so I got on this list from a friend and when you should post on Facebook group so most of the time people will just post as and when they like but as you know if you want to get your message out to a group of people especially to a group of a thousand people or more and if you want to make sure that they do see it the best time to post is to know when is the group most active so you can find out this in a short while and you can lastly decide to do it yourself or to outsource these uh, activities uh, to a freelancer also where to check for Facebook group statistics I'm going to introduce to you this website called sociograph.io In a while, we will take a short trip into this website and have a look how to navigate around this and also to download CSV file to filter the data that you have gotten Plus, this website also allows you to know who are the top poster, people who like the post and those posts that got shared the most and from this, you could also draw some um, conclusion about your group like who are the person that have the most influence and who can be the next uh, admin for your group. So do your math and you know that now you have your numbers and this will aid you in your decision making. Now let's go on to the online website to take a look. Okay, right now I'm at this uh, social website called socialgraph.io uh, so you just click on this button, log in with Facebook. I've joined this website before. So the moment I click that button, I will be in and I'll be brought on to my Facebook group, those group that I own. Okay. So let me just show you one of the site that I own, which is Singapore Neighborhood Free Cycle Group. So when I click on my own group, it will actually uh, pull in the data for me so what I would do now is I could actually select the date range that I wish to know about my group activity say for example July 1st to August 1st yeah so we let the this program run okay you can see that it's actually scanning through all the posts uh, the authors the commenters and the people who likes so this will take a while to run say probably about five to ten minutes and after which uh, you will have an idea on what is about your group in details okay it's done now so let's have a look and analyze some of the data so I can see that for the month of July uh, these are the stats that I gotten so I, in total I have about 1.7 thousand likes and also I got the 3 share 2.2 thousand comments 132 photo uploaded and one of them is a video okay let's scroll downwards and you can see majority of the activities is during the start of the month and towards the end of the month and also you can see that the colors that denoted by the blue color is the number of comments and followed by the light blue is the number of likes and followed by the number of posts so let's scroll down and look at the numbers of uh, ratings so this is a rating that's given to each individual uh, person who posts or the author and this rating is a, a is a mathematical formula that is calculated uh, you can see that actually this is calculated by the numbers of uh, number of uh, shared posts number of likes and plus number of comments 
so they give a rating to each individual person okay so from here you can actually uh, what you can do next is to go through the data or if not the next step you should do is to export it into a csv file or an excel file let's download this as a csv file which is the format that you could do your manipulation okay you can see that uh, there are a lot of columns over here so let's go and see the columns and we have something called the author id which you can ignore and you have the author name yep the author name is this column over here let me just highlight so what you could do is to create a filter for this and you can also filter in terms of number of lights like how many people have contributed how many lights uh, who are the top commenters and also look at the names of the uh, different contributors over here yeah so you could actually select like for example i wanted to know the person that gave the number of most of the lights so let's uncheck everything and you can see there's 43 27 18 so on see this who are these three person okay so we can see that actually uh we have this person by the name of canx that actually uh have number of lights and also number post so probably i could approach this person to see if she's interested to become the admins for this group since she's so active in this uh in our group okay so this is one way that you can even run some contests and look into the data that you get like uh how many contribution how many posts have they post and also what is their participation level in your particular group okay so this is part one. Oh, uh, next what we could do we could also search for groups that we wanted to join to see whether is it worth our time to join say for example um amazon yeah maybe amazon fba i'm interested so i can do a direct search now for this or any groups or any fan page that with uh, with this particular keywords so this will directly search into facebook groups uh on this platform so they are found in totality about 122 groups that you could join okay so the issue with uh, this uh, search is that it does not give you a total number of people or the number of members that's in this individual group so what i could do i could only one by one go in and open up the groups so just i'm going to just show it to you what you can do with groups that you do not own so i don't own any of this group so i just want to go into any of this group and show it to you what kind of data you can get from uh, this particular website say for example i'm interested to go into take a look at this amazon fba private label sellers so i wanted to know uh maybe for in the month of july what is the activity level it's just same thing i click on the month uh, last month so i will get some chart like this and you can see that uh, this is their activities amazon fba private label sellers you can see that the participation level actually is not high for a one month period you can say that it's pretty low there is only 15 like seven shares and five comments okay maybe this is not a very good example but this is just to tell you that uh, what kind of activities that you can expect uh, even if you see that maybe certain group they got a thousand members uh, what is the activities level is there any participation going on so let's go for the first one amazon fba competitive age i believe this group is uh, there will be a lot of participation oh okay so this group basically is a close group uh, a closed group uh, since I'm not admin, I won't be able to uh, check the data. So only groups that's public, then you could uh, actually uh, check for the data. So let's click on the public groups over here. Okay, so these are the public groups. So you can see that there will be a lot of uh, trial and error going to, uh, into individual group to see which is the most uh, the group that's most uh, worth your time into joining. So let's click on this one, FBA Review Club. Yeah, let's have a look on this one let's click on last month activities so this is a uh, pretty uh, accurate because if you click on last month and they can only show you one week or two weeks of activities meaning that before that uh, it is either a very new group or there's no participation at all okay so for this review club we can see that uh, the fba review clubs there's a lot of participation uh, there's about 146 posts by 52 autos and uh, also there is uh, seven commenters over here okay 
so we can see that the activities uh, take up or at the top uh, on the 20th of July 20th 21 of July okay and also towards the end of the month total 21 likes 10 comments so also at the same time uh, by using this method you also could tell who would who are the uh, person that owns this group by the participation level as well seems like uh, Ashley is the person that is uh, in charge of this group let me see we can also click on the visitors uh, tab over here yep so you can see more uh, data now uh, the visitor rating okay this is karma I think there's a, also a formula that calculated let me just show it to you yeah so this is a uh, uh, so-called the uh, calculation for karma uh, community grace and uh, user contribution okay you can use this to check your karma okay and also uh, the number of likes and shares okay so with this uh, I, I think that you have more data uh, that you could actually make some decision about the groups that you wish to join and let me just quickly show it to you I do have a list that I wanted to share with you okay so this is the group list that I got but this niche is basically on the internet marketing uh, money making niche and of course uh, by using this uh, so called this particular document you can actually join any of the groups and promote uh, your services if it is uh, suitable for your service or you can test out at least uh, 10 to 20 groups and to see what is your response like okay you can see that there's about a thousand group uh, about a thousand groups yeah okay a thousand group and the members here i believe is uh it will not be accurate it could be more now uh, because this data this list of uh, data is uh, somewhat more than six months ago so let me just click on any one of the link and see how so i click on this link number 10 it says that there is about 3000 plus member okay which is not true uh, now there is about 13,629 members wow so less than a year this group actually have grown so much so probably you want to check it out whether there is a lot of participation or if you want just click on the join group button to join this group so you can see that there is a thousand group that you can join so even I would say that if you are not into the internet marketing niche and you have a niche that solves someone else's issue and uh, if you read the group rules and you can post some of the uh, post your services and products I would say that definitely there will be some traffic going to your your products or service so you can give this a try and of course to go through the whole list is a lot of uh, work you could also outsource this for someone else to do it if you uh if you know who to outsource to which is very important as well okay let's let's try another example over here uh let's click on another group here just hold on i click on 19 this uh buyer direct group let's see how there is a total of uh, 21,821 members uh, i'll join yep okay and then i will take this link let's see if this works i'm not sure whether it, it, will this work uh, it's my first time so let's try this so let's click on this particular group okay i saw this group now and just click on this and let the system uh, let the program run uh, i also wanted to know for the past one month what is the activities like so let's just click on the last month and see how is it going okay so i have clicked on last month seems like there isn't much activities over here even there it is such a big group so let's click on la let's try to click on all times and have a look yeah oh it seems like this group is a bit strange there's only 21 posts and uh, 18 authors and there isn't much activities over here okay how about this group let's have a look the last post i always will be interested to know when is the last post that someone posted on this let's see okay it's 24 minutes ago okay there should be some activities that is uh, 
taking place I'll just click on join group first I'll grab this URL and I want to know in social graph IO and see what kind of activities is happening in this group it is the uh, let me see biggest Facebook business group which is this guy really the yeah, biggest about 50,000 so okay let's click on just uh, last month okay let's let it run I think it's running in the background but uh, not to worry that uh, actually this uh, some of the sites as you know some of the sites they are pretty big claiming that they have about 20,000 members 100,000 members but what we care about is the activities level and are there any participation uh, ongoing so that remember when you post something out there you want someone to see the message and you do not want uh, just to post it there but uh, nobody know they actually post something so in order to maximize uh, your time you should uh, look for groups that really would give you some form of a uh, return in terms of viewership okay this is still running uh, I will believe that uh, I will let this run for a while and you can see that this group is pretty much uh, active yeah the, so the first thing you should check is the most recent post and at the same time uh, you run through these tools and look at the number of likes number of posts uh, photos videos and you roughly know the groups actually uh, what kind of content uh, people is looking for say for example this group pretty much uh, they are looking into the videos number of videos that people post and also photographs I'll see you in the next video hi everyone welcome back to the class so today is the uh, class project day and I have some tasks for you first is to join the sociograph.io website next is to select any three Facebook group from the given list that I gave you or you can join any three Facebook group that's related to your niche by using uh, this uh, sociograph.io to do a search and then plot out the one month stats and download the CSV file or if you wish to know uh, the uh, top contributor top commenter you could also do a sort on that and also what you can see and learn from each individual group so if you study in those individual groups you will see that each groups they are different and of course you will know who are the top contributor and if you could actually know the group admin or the top contributor probably you could work out something from here so the course summary what you have learned so you have learned how to get your own or any Facebook group stats that's excluding those private groups or closed groups which uh, we are not allowed to see their stats uh, focus your time and effort on the high activities Facebook group remember the 80-20 rules 20% 20 of the Facebook group you join uh, will give you the traffic that you want the unfair advantage over your competitors when using Facebook group I'm sure that by now you will see the value in this Facebook group report that you could fully make use of so with this I will see you in the next video course